It is now time for the Port Podcast. Three, two, one, we are rolling. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for another episode of the Port Podcast. Do we ever have a special one for you today? We've got a great episode with Judith Mackin and Ray Gracewood. We're here to talk to you all about community and what's coming up for Victoria Day long weekend. So this thank you a, for joining us. This is a fun one. This is a fun Bring one. Bring the fun. We got two of the funnest St. Johners. Do. It is a fun you, one. This is a good one. I gotta. I, well, can we introduce these two? Yes, let's do it. Because they, they can introduce themselves, but I feel like we need to yeah, bestow greatness it. on our two guests let's here today. So we have Judith Mackin from Tech Studio, who's no stranger to anyone in St. John. No. Has been working tirelessly for decades in this community uh, to, to, in my opinion, elevate everything that we offer, whether it be uh, furniture, whether it be the offerings that you have at Tuck Studio, your design, design work, the events that you've done, you just elevate us, you make us feel uh, in St. John like we're in a, a big city and you make us feel like we deserve all the great things that we get. Oh so my that's God, my Judith Mackin. And no, no, I, I'm serious. Such a cool lover of music, oh, I yeah. have to say. Yeah. Oh my God. Absolutely. And then we got Ray Gracewood, I'll let you do Ray. Oh my God. Okay. So if you don't know, you obviously all know Ray. Obviously, Ray, thank you so much for being on the show today. You do so much for St. John and obviously there's so much that has been happening over the past five years that if it wasn't for you and your team at 506, we would not be flourishing the way that we are. So thank you so much for all of your work, your dedication, Memorial Cup, everything that you're touching is flourishing. So we really appreciate that and we're excited to talk to you more. So, so, so this episode today is not not as port related as it normally is, yep. but I did want to share one just little port tidbit as we get started. And I think Ray and Judith have both contributed a lot with the Container Village as well and with what you offer at, yep. at Tech Studio. So recently we met with some cruise line executives and, you know, they share they share stats about, you know, the, the passenger experience in St. John. We've always been good. We have never been better. And the delta between the expectation of passengers when they come here, which is very good, versus what we get, is actually increasing. Yeah. So right. the expectation is high, and we're delivering beyond that. And I, I just wish uh, somehow we've got a capture from cruise folks the way they talk about St. John. We need everyone in St. John to, to talk, talk about, about that, that way. because we yeah. don't talk about ourselves positively enough, oh, yes, with the do. exception of these two right here. <laughs> oh, so yes, that's the do. energy we're going to bring today, because you guys do, because you guys do. So yeah, let's get into what. Let's do this. We let's roll. We got something special. So you guys have an announcement to make on behalf of a much larger group that's put a lot of time into something. We yeah. we do. Do you, do you, you want do you want me to start? You go ahead. So um, we we do, and we're excited about it, and it's something that we'll be kind of full out on all the details around in in early May. Um, but it all it started really from a, a phone call that I got from Judith, and it came from an insight that. Um, it was really a grassroots initiative by some key retail folks in St. John who sort of, you know, last month got together and, and spearheaded by Dominique at In Pursuit, which is a great local retailer here in St. John. And she, she sort of saw that there was a need to do something and we need to get people back uptown and start thinking about getting into a shopping mentality and all these yeah. things. And, and she got a whole network of 30-some retailers, yeah. I think, together yeah. um, to do this uh, promotion that she she uh, she kind of dubbed the Get Lucky Uptown. It was around St. Patrick's yep. Day and all the things. Huge success, great feedback. And coming out of that, you know, Judith got super excited, and I think it was a great thing for her business. And then I got the phone call to say, you know, like, Dominique is in. She's doing this amazing thing. I want to do more of this kind of stuff. Like, how do we really kind of put this into hyperdrive mm -hmm. and turn it into right. something, you know, even bigger, um, which anytime I get a phone call from Judith, I get excited because <laughs> something great is going to happen. Yeah. Um, so then, you know, we were kind of putting notes together on, okay, what does that look like? And, and um, you know, when we opened the Container Village last year, we opened on the May, uh, the Victoria Day long weekend. Um, it's great timing, great, uh, the first big cruise ship was in, this year the plan is very similar, so we're, we're opening on the May 16th, which is a Thursday, I believe, big cruise ship in town, and we've got programming that we're doing. We started to put some other ideas around and basically said, let's create something brand new and, and, and put Victoria Day Long Weekend on the map. Because yeah. quite honestly, like, going back a little bit, Area 506 is a festival started around this idea of pride of place and the best in New Brunswick and, 
I was like, what better time to do that? It's on the August long weekend. Mm -hmm. The August long weekend is the New Brunswick Day long weekend. Why would we think about it as the August long weekend? It's the weekend that everybody's going away, going camping, doing all the things. Let's take ownership of that, right? So that's white space, just like we think Victoria Day long weekend is white space. There's right. an opportunity to create something. And it's like, it's the beginning of, you know, the summer season, right? So we think about this idea of uh, unleash Unleashing. the season. Unleash the season is the idea. And really, it's about kind of dubbing what we're calling the Vicky Day weekend <laughs> into something that's ownable and exciting and, and new allows retailers to sort of like make it their own, come up with promotions, in-store activities, different kind of things. So basically there's a hundred different reasons why somebody would want to come to the to the St. John area, uptown specifically, and just be part of something special. And I think too, it's like, it builds over time. You know, it, it allows us, it gives us something and a foundational something that everybody can sort of sink their teeth into. It's totally collaborative. It's open to anybody who wants to participate. And basically it's going to like, hopefully put us on the right step. You know, mm -hmm. like it's a time of year where, you know, everybody is sort of coming out of hibernation. You know? Yeah. Like, and, and, and the winter anywhere, it doesn't matter where you are, is a tough season for retail. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. And it's a tough season yeah. to get people out. And, and restaurants. And, 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 mm. restaurants yeah. and, and, and all of the sort of the local industry. So for us, it's like, Everybody, you know, looks forward to the summer. And I think that's from a business perspective or just, you know, people in general, they want to do stuff. So let's give them a great excuse to get s spring and summer off on the right foot, come in and do something cool, be part of something interesting. And I think too, like look around and there's not a whole lot of really cool, interesting things happening on that weekend. So even as like, you know, putting St. John on the map, mm -hmm. like a make whole it a destination for those that that are not planning to go away. And I think that's the same when 506 started. It was, well, I had had plans to go away, but what about all the people that could come to our city and infuse dollars and help our economy and help the people that have never been into those shops before? Because that's where we actually see a conversion and a change happen. And I think that's really, really important, especially for retailers and people in hospitality, because, you know, especially here in St. John, we have a four day work week, we have all these different variables that are affecting a lot of these people. So it's wonderful to see communication happen amongst everybody and ideas amongst everyone and really putting that out in a way that everyone can participate and the community can actually adopt it. Yeah, 100%. that's great. And, and, and this idea of coming together and collaboration. Like I would want to kind of really impress on that. And it really comes, you know, discussions that we've had with Judith and Dominique and the whole team and even our, our, our kickoff meeting with a, with a group of ambassadors that, you know, we were lo really looking to hope would sort of take it upon themselves and really get excited. Yeah. They really have. And I think that there's, there's an incredible hunger. There's a hunger. Yeah. There's a hunger out there from like local businesses that say like, you know, we want to do something. And yes, like this makes sense. And the more that we can do, the better off we'll <laughs> all be. And Kate, to your point exactly, it's like there's things happening all over the place. They just need to happen here. Yep. So give people an excuse and make something that's cool and interesting and more hooks, the better. Promotional activity things. We've got the DJs going. We've got mm. great food and drinks, special things that you can only do here only on this weekend. You know, and the crowds have come. Like, I, I, I know that they will. So, so it's exciting. And again, just another thing that we want to do that sort of brings some vibrancy and vitality to the city. And, um, you know, with any luck, the weather's going to cooperate. And uh, we'll have another kind of buildable property that will be special and unique and, and uh, specific to St. John. I also think it's interesting, too. Um, a lot of people, when I'm at conferences or panels, they ask me about what this – feeding the ecosystem is that they see in New Brunswick happening. And I, I love, that's probably why I choose to live and stay here. It's because when people see something happening, whether it's lack of foot traffic, whether it's an idea for something, they actually look to the very people that are going to help them make that happen. Otherwise they could just complain till the cows come home. And I think here in New Brunswick, we actually go and we go into Dominique's store and we sit in a room full of 40 people that also want to make something happen. And I think that's, I think that's really special. I think that's rare. And that is maybe only happening in smaller cities because we're actually able to see it and sit around that table. And if you're not at the table, you can't help make those decisions or make those ideas a reality. Yeah. So I think that's a, a really great <coughs> thing that we have here in New Brunswick. And sometimes it comes out of scarcity as well, but then a really great thing comes from it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, one thing that I'll say about the entrepreneurial community and the small business community is that much like the city of St. John, there's a resiliency mm -hmm. and there's a greediness. 
you know, so it's kind of like, to your point exactly, you can sit around and complain about whatever you can complain, or you can get the job done. Yeah. You know? And I think it's, it's an example of, okay, we're going to come together, come up with something, mm-hmm. and then we're going to serve it up. It's going to be a platform, that, but then everybody else has a chance to kind of like, kind of sink their teeth into it, make it their own, yeah. and just, and it will become whatever it becomes. And I think the more that we do those kind of things, the more product there is there's more reasons for people to come into the city stay in the city get up off their couches do things after work and it's a cultural thing that i think is really important that doesn't necessarily exist here like it does in a lot of other cities which is there's so much to do and i think that when people get into the mindset and the culture of thinking like what am i going to do after work on thursday like i kind of feel guilty if i don't have plans and like once we start to kind of get there it creates a culture of, you know, being social, getting out, doing things. And then people will start to understand just how many things there are mm-hmm. to do, you know. And, and the more product that we develop and more interesting things, then, you know, it's economic development, it's population growth. It's all these incredible, important things that once we get into this culture of people here understanding how great a city it is, to your point, Craig, versus how other people now look at us. It's like St. John's is the coolest place to be. It is. You know? yeah. And ev- everybody that I talk to outside of the city, like I get that back all the time. Yep. And, and I think for now, it's like, okay, so now it's about pride of place. Like now it's we got to get people to embrace it themselves. And that's what gets me excited when you hear the cruise feedback because these passengers go everywhere in the world. Mm-hmm. They, they, don't, they don't have to be here. They want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's exciting. I've got a question for Judith. So, yes. so obviously you've you've got a very very well known business. Mm. What do, what's this going to mean this this Vicky weekend to your business and some of the colleagues you've been bringing into this this concept? So it is about Vicky Day weekend, but I think even before we start talking about that, one of the most instrumental things that have changed the face of our business is the port development, okay. and also the Area Five Hundred Six infusion mm-hmm. into our waterfront. So I've been in the city since 1985, and the city was on fire. You know, the Market Square had just opened. And this is like the first time since 1985 that this waterfront has been on fire. Mm. And, you know, we've been uptown in Tuck for the better part of 10 years almost. And it's been busy, and there was like, you know, the whole Renaissance City when Mel was our mayor, and Mm. we started to see people move uptown, but there was no activity on Water Street at all. Like the missing nothing, link. Yeah. Right. And uh, parking lots. <laughs> and I can tell you the biggest drive, economic drive, in my opinion, is Area 506 in the summertime in terms of driving people uptown. And I'm in eternally, immensely grateful. Mm-hmm. I think we all are. Mm-hmm. And even if those people aren't coming and spending money at Tuck, they're coming through Tuck, they're yep. looking at the building, they're visiting Wasted Day, mm. they're, you know, taking pictures of the cruise ship. And so, like, my uptown m- includes Area 506 in the port. Yep. And part of what we really wanted to say here is, like, how can we attach ourselves to people like Ray and Sarah and his whole team and use that so like it's there's more than just like victoria day or vicky day weekend Mm -hmm. it's also like ray's going to talk about who's going to be opening that (laughs) weekend but they're opening up your first cruise ships in here so like that's going to be like our anchor it's almost like the rock show and everybody else is like attaching all of the like support so the restaurants the bars the shopping you know the tours and so from, from our perspective, and I bring this back to Dom and Nick, mm. this is very grassroots. Mm. Dom pulled Get Lucky Uptown together in like, I think, 10 days. Mm. She did the branding. She did the Facebook event page. She did the stickers. She dropped everything off. Like, it was a well-oiled machine. Yep. And so from my perspective, it's like, okay, how can we keep that momentum going? Any successful endeavor, you surround yourself with the right people. I called Ray and Sarah. We got Mo involved. And I don't think it's just going to be Vicky Day weekend this year. It's going to be the Labor Day weekend. We're going to do something. And then next year, we're going to build on Vicky Day because it's going to build momentum. And it inspires other people to think about, well, if if they get feedback or if they think something could have worked better or something they didn't have time to actualize, it allows them to put that implementation in place yeah. and potentially come to you or stakeholder sponsorship at a different level than first year. Right. So yes. it just brings that destination back. And yeah. I think that's so important for entrepreneurs to kind of look forward to, yeah. but to also have that working group of people that they can just call on and say, Hey, I've got an idea. How can we make this happen? Yeah. Cause there's so many people willing to help. St. John, like, 
if you have an idea and you ask for help, the city just crowds in on itself. Yeah. It's it's fiercely entrepreneurial. Mm-hmm. It really is. And we saw that. Like we held like a, an ambassadors meeting. We invited like sixty five people to be like the first wave to go out and share with the rest of the uptown people that want to be involved. And I think we had like eighty seven percent of people show up at eight thirty in the morning yeah. yep. on King Street at Dom's store. Yeah. Like that's incredible. That is really that shows. Like I say, a hunger. Uh, camaraderie and the other thing that I really love about this initiative is that everybody's not being pigeonholed into doing one thing everybody can do their own thing under the rubric of Vicky Day weekend mm-hmm. right so you know at talk we'll probably do scratch and win tickets we'll have Robert's going to do like a really saucy painting of Queen Victoria maybe smoking a cigarette <laughs> and then like we're gonna do a Kate's raffle. gonna need that <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's uh <laughs> Kate's going to need start that. Start the bidding, Kate. We're I'm ready to go. On that Let's go. Do prints of it, and everybody will get one at that yep. shops at the store. You know, have a DJ. That's what we're doing. But down the street, it'll be, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Cask and Kettle will be doing something else. But it's all going to be on a massive mm. poster. And Area 506, like the amount of work that Sarah has put into this, mm-hmm. like the, there's going to be a website. Like you always got to surround yourself oh, with yeah. people that are – brighter and better and better funded than you <laughs> facts it's true <laughs> but no but anyway, no what no matter what business you're in yeah. that is true it's yeah. it's a good thing and yeah. i can't wait to launch may 1st like uh-huh. when people see the brand the logo jason ogden's done some great work on it as well and wow. yeah we're grateful I, I was fortunate enough to be there at 8.30 a couple Fridays ago to, 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 to be part of that. And yeah. if you could bottle that energy up yeah. in yeah. the room, I think everyone went away inspired. I know our team at the port, I had two colleagues. Within, I think, an hour, Judith, they emailed you, here's Crazy. what we're going to offer, here's what we're going to do. This podcast came are. out of that. <laughs> like, it's, it, was, it was hard not to be in that room. And yeah. you, know, you felt inspired. You just wanted to go out and do your part because every, you could just feel. And Dominic, I know she's not here with us, but, I mean, her passion to start that meeting off that morning and to host at her at her store yeah. was very inspirational. She talk about a resilient individual who just keeps getting it done time and time again. And that's you know like that's the spirit of the like a, an initiative like this is that you need people like that who you know are going are going to be resilient and they're going to kind of just like have that get it done attitude and you know I think to the point earlier around this idea of community like there's a business community that exists, you know, and I think that this is a good example of a grassroots initiative that brings that business community together and you create a thing that people start to get excited about and that's awesome, you know, and hopefully it'll be good for business. But I think also too, it's the kind of thing that, you know, like you could do it six, eight, ten times in the year and then and then people start to kind of think differently about your city. And I think that's what, that's part of the thing that makes me most excited is that when you do these kind of things and it's kind of like, oh, I guess St. John is kind of cool. I guess there are some things kind of going yeah. on. And you start to kind of feel a little bit different about where you live mm-hmm. and where you work and where you play and all. Like all of that, I think, just feeds into this thing that mm-hmm. keeps people like me. And I think I'll speak on behalf of most of the people that were in that room that, that, that morning. It, 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 it makes it kind of like less like work and more mm-hmm. like, okay, this is, we're, I it's feel it. like I'm part of something, yep. you know? Yeah. And I think that that's special. And I think that that's one of the most interesting thing that's come out of this whole project is that there is a real fierce sense of loyalty within this community and a get it doneness that really kind of, you know, makes for just a cool vibe, yep. you know? And, and I think at the end of the day, we're excited to see this thing go public, but also just to kind of like see how it goes and I think you fast forward two, three, four, five years down the road, and I, you know, I get super excited thinking about what Vicky Day Weekend can become. But didn't I say that to you, Ray? Like when I think about where Area Five Hundred Six mm. started seven years ago, six years ago, nine years ago. Holy nine! Shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the oh, first bleep. The <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it was nine years ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, you know, and now look at it. Like, yep. it's a full-fledged container village, amazing yep. bands coming, yep. a team of, like, what, eight people? Like, it's just yep. grown. And, like I said earlier, it's just been so great for our yeah. city because mm-hmm. the economic spinoff for the rest of us yep. because it's here. Yep. And I think that only fuels people to make more decisions about becoming a, v- a vendor or somebody in the container village or having, because as these weekends get stronger, as there's more adoption, people will want to, want to be there 
So it makes it competitive. And I think that having, you know, good sustainable businesses, people who want to work and, and work with those people, it's, it is that energy is addictive. Yeah. And I think sometimes, you know, living here my whole life, there is a sense sometimes when you can get into complacency, right? But if you don't, not an option, not an option. If you don't, if you have an idea and then you start to think, I want to do something with it, you have to go and, and delegate and take your ego out of it and try to work with the people that can help make it happen. It. Otherwise, it'll just sit on a back burner, right? For sure. And like I, I think about it as like a crowd attracts a crowd, you know, like yeah. success breeds success. But what starts it is like just an idea. And then you have to like do the work that creates proof of concept. And sometimes that's the hardest work, you yep. know. So when I think about, say, Area 506, for example, because that's close, near and dear to my heart, um, you got an idea. Okay, we've got an idea, but it's really the partners that rally around it, you know. And I'll take this opportunity to give full props to the Port of St. John, mm -hmm. who from day one have, whether it's been, here's some land you can work with, or here's, and, and now as we fast forward to 2024, the nature of that relationship, Craig, I think has been a great one where oh, yeah. we understand each other's businesses and we've kind of come together to create this thing that hopefully is mutually beneficial. But like without that initial support and that growth of support as we move and we grow, mm -hmm. that's the thing that really creates power, you mm -hmm. know, and and whether it's strategic relationships between small retailers uptown or between, you know, like uh, examples like uh, even in this table, you know, and the businesses that we represent, mm -hmm. That's, that's what really kind of creates that initial possibility to grow something from just an idea into something bigger and better. And sometimes it takes time and sometimes it takes patience, but whether it's nine years or whether it's three months, whatever it is, like that's when, that's when the work really happens, but then it does, it gets easier hopefully over time. And then Absolutely. it's a snowball effect, you know, and, and like I said, crack, crowd attracts a crowd and uh, Vicky Day weekend will be something that we start to kind of build on this year and people will be like, I don't quite get it, but okay. <laughs> but then two years from now, <laughs> everybody it. will be talking about it. You That's know? right. And it's, you know, you say we're going to build a container village on the waterfront. People are like, Mm. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. Right. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> no, it's true though. That's yeah. interesting. It is, you know, and, and some uh, seeing's believing, you know, people don't have, you know, they struggle with visualization. So it's like, you need to kind of create something and, and, and have that initial group of people that are willing to commit, go through the bumps, have patience. Right. But that's what it takes. And yeah. sometimes if you don't have that resilience and that grittiness to muscle through it, you don't get to the point where three years down the road, people are saying, this is the most amazing thing. It just happened all of a sudden. I can't believe it. Well, yep. it's like, believe it. Like, there's some work <laughs> exactly. going into it. Exactly. You know? Well, I definitely know where I will be on Vicky Day weekend. Yes. Same. For sure. <laughs> So, so let's do a let's do a to, to end this let's do a call to action like what what it you know how do we get people excited we've got to hopefully have a good audience here mm -hmm. we're, we're we're pre May first launch so we're gonna have all sorts of wonderful collateral yep. get everyone excited about how can we get excited get, get people excited right now why why do they need to come well, to the Vicky Day long week. Well, I'll tell you, so, so <laughs> to, 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 to Judah's point, like we, we've got some great ideas that have already come in from different partners, and I can't wait for all those details to get out. We've got, you know, 50, 60 different partners that are all engaged with great creative ideas. I think the breadth of things that are going to be happening is just going to be super, super exciting, you know. And uh, we announced this morning at the Container Village that we'll have Canadian rock legend Sloan performing on the Friday that's, night. That's got to get a clap, clap. <laughs> Yeah, we've got, um, you know, we've got probably the province's favorite 80s band, Pretty in Pink, playing on the Saturday. Um, a full complement of, um, you know, activities and different things scheduled, and I think, but that's really just the start. That's the stuff I might be closest to, but yeah. Judith, I know, has got amazing stuff planned for Tuck, whether the it's... The restaurants. Uh, all mm. the restaurants are, are really coming through with great, like, unique, you know, custom-made menus, all these kind yeah. of things. So all to say that there's going to be just lots and lots and lots of stuff for anybody whether it's family friendly stuff nighttime stuff daytime stuff right across the board it's i think it's going to be the place to be on the weekend and your the 506 has become the, the pet friendly destination oh 100 percent. so bring uh, your bring your pint, pets up down pints and pups on Saturday if you haven't made so. plans yeah. yet you now yeah. have plans you know, yeah i hope to see you here in saint john because i do think it's it really echoes how important community is working together and really trying to look forward to what the next couple of years could bring. Because like you said, a lot of us are choosing to stay, live, work, play hard here. And you know, it, 
when I travel to, I'm always talking about home and I, I want the rest of the people that live here to talk about it that way, because I could only imagine what we'd be at 10 years from now if this is the trajectory we're going. So if you're in St. John, Vicky Day weekend, you better be coming to hang out with us because we'll be partying hard down here on the waterfront. Absolutely. And we're excited. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time, one, to go to these meetings, to set up what is happening both, you know, in March, now, moving forward. We, we need this. And I know that the local businesses also really need it and appreciate the extra surge of, of um, help and, and just legit support. So thank you. From and, now, them. and now it's on to our listeners to come support. So this please if come. You, if you want to continue to have that vibrant, growing community that we love here, we've got to support it. Right. And we've got to support it with everything we've got. you got to bring your friends. you got to bring people from outside of St. John. You've got to come support this because we're on the move. We can keep growing this. We can have more Judiths and more Rays in this community, but not if people uh, choose to go elsewhere. But we, we've got we've got world-class uh, shops, restaurants, attractions like 506, world-class bands like Get Sloan into Coming. It. Get, get here and support with your dollars. That's right. Rock and roll, everybody. <laughs> Vicky Day weekend. Vicky Day weekend, we everybody. Go. We'll see you there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening. 